Hello everyone. Welcome to EduRev. Ratio and proportion CAT questions are a part of the quantitative aptitude section of CAT exam. It is one of the easiest topics. CAT questions on ratio and proportion are mainly based on fractions. So you can expect like two to three questions from this chapter. So a basic understanding and conceptual clarity is important. So today we will start with ratio and proportion from the basics and we will move to the advanced level later. So in this lecture we will be talking about ratios only. So what is a ratio? Ratio is relative value of two or more similar quantities. So let us take an example. The price of a pen is rupees 12 and price of a book is rupees 18. So here we are comparing price with the price. So the both are similar quantities. So price of pen and price of book are in the ratio 2 is to 3. How? When we divide this ratio in its simplest form, is it is equivalent to 2 is to 3. Now it says ratio does not have any unit. When we talk about let's say weight, you give it a unit gram or kilograms. But Ratio does not have any unit. A over B is called the fractional form and A is to B is called the linear form. But there is a difference. We write A over B like in fractions when we have to calculate the share of a given commodity. Whereas we use this linear form when we have to compare one thing with the other. So I hope this is clear to you. Let's move on. Now let's say we have rupees 56 with us and it is divided to A and B in the ratio 4 is to 3. Okay. So now how do we calculate this? Now 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 and you can say that 7 units or parts is equal to rupees 56. So 1 unit is equal to 56 divided by 7 which is equal to 8. Now A has 4 units and B has 3 units. So 1 unit is equal to 8. So we will multiply 4 with 8 and 3 with 8 which will be equal to 32 and 24. So A's share is rupees 32 and B's share is rupees 24. Now what are we actually doing here? Let's say we have rupees 64 and it is divided in the ratio 7 is to 9. Now we can say that A is to B is equal to 7 is to 9. You can also write it like 7k and 9k and when we add this it is 16k so 16k is equal to rupees 64 and k is equal to 4 so a's share will be 7 into 4 and b's share will be 9 into 4 which is equal to 
28 and 36 rupees. So we now you see here that 28 is a multiple of 7 and rupees 36 is a multiple of 9. So ratio increases in same multiple. Same multiple. Alright. That means A is getting 7 parts. B is getting 9 parts. And A gets an amount which is a multiple of 7. And B gets an amount which is a multiple of 9. Now I hope it's clear to you all. Let's solve some questions now. I will be solving 2 to 3 for you and rest you can solve yourself. Now we see that 36 and 72. We have to reduce it to its simplest form. So 36 if we divide by 2 is equal to 18 and 72 is equal to 36. We divide it by 9, it is by 2 and this is by 4. This is 1, this is 2. So the simplest ratio is 1 is to 2. <clears throat> Let's solve this. We divide, this is very simple. We divide, it, we divide this by 7. This is 3 and this is 4. 3 and 4 cannot be divided further. So this is the simplest form. Let's do it here. 20. We divided by 5. So the simplest ratio is 4 is to 5 is to 6. Let's come here. Can you see a decimal here? We have to remove this decimal. To convert it into the integer form. So we will double it, multiply by 2. Right? And then you can solve this. Similarly, we have decimals here. So you have to remove the decimals, convert it into the integer form, and then you can simplify the ratio. Now that was the linear form. What is the use of fraction form? This is very important from your examination point of view. Now let's say you have two people in the ratio 2 is to 3. Right? Then the first one will get 2 and 2 plus 3. That is the total amount. And the second one will get 3 divided by 5. How 5? Likewise 2 plus 3. That is the total. So first one will get 2 divided by 5. That is a fraction. And the second one will get 3 over 5. Now. This gives me the share of A and share of B. Right. So that is what it is written here. That the fraction is A divided by A plus B which is equivalent to the total amount. Now in case of three or more ratios just like that. This is important as this is the total. So you will add all the three ratios. Right. So uh, let's do this by an example. So I have rupees. 320 
and I have to divide it in the ratio 2 is to 3. That means A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3. Right? This is the only ratio. Now you all know that the A's share will be 320 into 2 by 5. We did that A's share will be 2 by 5. So this and B's share would be B's share would be 320 into 3 by 5. You can simplify this and you will get the answer here. Right. Now let's say if I have 81 coins which are to be divided in A, B and C in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. So this is equal to 9. 5, 3 and 1. Right. So A's share would be what? 81 into 1 by 9. B's share would be 81 into 3 by 9. And C's share would be 81 into 5 by 9. So you will get the ratio or each one's share. Right? Now, this is very simple for you. You have to find the numbers from the ratio. You have been given the ratio and their sum. Let's solve the first one. So, you know, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 5 units is equal to 25. So, 1 unit is equal to 5. So, A will get 2 into 5 and B will get 3 into 5. So, A is to B is equal to 10 is to 15. Right. So, let's do the last one and you can solve the rest by yourself. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. So, 9 units is equal to 135 and 1 unit is equal to 135 divided by 9 which is equal to 15. So, A's share would be 7 into 15 and B's share would be 2 into 15 and you will get the answer. So, you can solve the rest by yourself. Now, we will see how to combine two or more ratios. You have to follow each and every step very attentively. Now, let's say we have the ratios A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3, B is to C is equal to 4 is to 5, C is to D is equal to 6 is to 7 and D is to E is equal to 8 is to 9. Now, you have to calculate the ratio of A is to B is to C. Now you can see that we have A is to B here and B is to C. We have A is to B and B is to C. And the ratios of B are twice. Like here it is 3. And here it is 4. Right? So, you can write it like this. Now, you have to calculate A is to B is to C. We have 2 is to 3 and then 4 is to 5. Now, how do we combine two ratios? We have two ratios here. How do we combine? We will multiply 
the B's ratio. We have two ratios of B. We will multiply both of them. That is 3 into 4. Now for A, we have the value of B as 3. But the 4 is missing here. B has the ratios 3 and 4. Right. But for A, we have 3 and 4 is not there. So, we will multiply 2 with 4, the one which is not there. For 5, for C or for 5, the value of B is 4 but 3 is missing. So, we will multiply 5 by 3. We will simply get the ratio now. 4 into 2 is 8. 4 is to 3 is 12. 5 is to 3 is 15. So, it is very simple to calculate. We got the ratio that A is to B is to C is equal to 8 is to 12 is to 15. Right. We just multiplied the 1 ratio that is missing like b has two ratios two values we will multiply with which it is missing and here we will multiply both the values so we got the answer now let's say we have to calculate the ratios of a is to b is to c is to d is to E. Here we have learned how to combine two ratios. Now we will see how to combine more ratios. Okay. Now I will tell you two is to three is written here. Can I write two is to three as two by 3. We have learned that this can be written as this like a by b is equal to 2 is to 3. 4 by 5. 4 is to 5 can be written as 4 is to 5. 6 is to 7 can be written as 6 by 7. And 8 is to 9 is can be written as 8 by 9. You can write these ratios like this also. Now, if we talk about, we know what is a numerator and what is a denominator. 2 is numerator here. 3 is the denominator. Likewise, here also you all know numerator and denominators. Now, if we have to combine more ratios, what we do is, for A, we will take all the numerators. For A, we will take all the numerators that is 2, 4, 6, 8 and we will multiply it. 2 into 4 into 6 into 8. This is for A. Now what we will do for B? For B, we will take one denominator that is 3 and we will take all the other numerators which will be ratio first denominator that is 3 and other 3 numerators that is 4, 6, 8. Now what we will do for C? We will take two denominators that is 3 and 5 and other two numerators that would be 3 into 5 into 6 into 8. Alright, now for D, coming to D, what we will do is we will take three numerators that is 3 5, 7 and 1 denominator that is 3, 5, 7 into 
8. What we did is we took 1, 2, 3 numerators and 1 denominator. Moving towards E, what we will do is for E, we will take all the denominators. We will take all the denominators that is 3 into 5 into 7 into 9. I hope you all are understanding this every step. What I did was, I will repeat it again for A, I took all the four numerators. Then for B, I took one denominator that is the first denominator and three numerators. For C, I took first two denominators and then two numerators. For D, I took three denominators and one numerator. And for E, I took all the four denominators. Now, what will be the ratios? 2 into 4 into 6 to 8 would be 384 is to 576 is to 720 is to 840 is to 945. We will get these values by multiplying all the values. So 384, 576, 720, 840, 945. This is A is to B is to C is to D is to E. Now you can simplify this by the common factor. By simplifying, you have to simplify and you will get the answer. The ratios of A is to B is to C is to D. I hope this is clear and very easy. You just have to take the numerators and denominators and here the one value which was missing. The value of B which was missing, we multiplied it with the remaining value. And we have a question here. So we'll just solve it. A is to B is equal to B is to C is equal to C is to D is equal to 3 by 4. If B gets rupees 308 less than D, then find the amounts with A, B, C and D. Now, you can say that A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4, which is written here. B is to C is equal to 3 is to 4. And C is to D is equal to 3 is to 4. Okay, we get it from here. Now, we have to calculate the ratios between A is to B is to C is to D. Okay, for A, we have to take all the three numerators. For B, we will take one denominator and two numerators. Sorry. For C, we will take two denominators and one numerator and for d we take all the three denominators right we have learned this concept earlier and we are applying this to this question so the ratio becomes here 27 is to 36 is to 48 is to 64 now the question says B gets rupees 308 less than D. So the difference between B and D. We are talking about the difference here which is equal to 308. Right? 
and if we talk about the difference in ratios so the difference in ratios is 28 units 64 minus 36 is equal to 28 so you can say that 28 units is equal to 308 so one unit is equal to 11 right now we have to calculate the shares of a b c and d a has 27 units so 27 into 11 b has 36 into 11 c has 48 into 11 and D has 64 into 11. So the amounts or you can say their share is equal to 297, 396, 528 and 704. So, you have got the amounts with A, B, C and D. Now, we have one another question here. Simplify A is to B is to C is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 4 is to 1 by 5. Now, we have to simplify. We can write A is equal to K by 2. B is equal to K by 4. C is equal to K by 5. Now, if you will solve this, it will be very lengthy. So, what we will do is, we will convert these fractions into integers. Now, how can we do that? We will multiply this with a common factor or a number. So, 1 by 2 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 5. We will take the LCM of 2, 4 and 5 which will be 20. So, now we will multiply 1 by 2 with 20, 1 by 4 with 20 and 1 by 5 with 20. Now, we can simply get the shares of A, B and C which is equal to 10, 5 and 4. So, this is a much easier method. Now, what is a reverse ratio? Let's say we have A is to B is equal to 3 is to 5. Or it is written 3A is equal to 5B. Now, are these two the same? No, they are not. Here it is 3 times A is equal to 5 times B. The ratio here is let's say A by B. We are bringing B to the denominator. 5 remains in the numerator and 3 comes here. So the ratio here is a is to B is equal to 5 is to 3. So, this and this is not same. The ratio of this is 5 is to 3 and not 3 is to 5. Right. I will repeat it again. If it is written, 
let's say five times a is equal to seven times b so it is five a is two seven b now you know the basic concepts the numerator remains here b comes to the denominator okay seven here remains in the numerator and five comes to the denominator now you can also write it this way that a is to b is equal to seven is to five so you have to solve it like this let's move forward we will solve some questions here if 4a is equal to 5b find the ratio of a is to b i know you all can do it it is a is to b is equal to 4 is to 5 no it is not like this 4a is equal to 5b so a by b is equal to 5 by 4 so a is to b is equal to 5 is to 4 and not 4 is to 5 the second one if 25 percent of a is equal to 25 percent of b find the value of a is to b now you can simplify this this is 3 and this is sorry this is 5 and this is 4 so this is 5a is equal to 4b right so it is a is to b is equal to 4 is to 5 right now if 3 times a is equal to 4 times b and 5 times c find the value of a b c till now we were only doing of 2 now it is 3 so this is 3 a is equal to 4 b is equal to 5 c now how do you solve this one you can solve this one first right so a is to b is equal to 4 is to 3 then you can solve this that is b is to c is equal to 5 is to 4 right I have solved this first and then this. So now I know how to combine two ratios. We have done A is to B, B is to C, like 4 is to 3 and 5 is to 4. We will multiply 3 into 5. Here we will multiply 4 into 5 and here we will multiply 4 into 3 right which will be equal to 20 is to 15 is to 12 so we have got the ratio of a is to b is to c let's do it once again what i did i solved this bracket first you now you know how to solve 3a is equal to 4b I solved it then I solved this one 4b is equal to 5c b is to c is 5 is to 4 we also know how to combine two ratios we did that and then we got the ratio of a is to b is to c that is 20 is to 15 is to 12 now we have other methods to solve this also let's do that now let's say 
2a is equal to 3b is equal to 4c. We can divide this. We will divide this by a multiple. Okay. You can take the LCM of 2, 3, 4. Okay. We take the LCM which is equal to 12. So, we will divide, divide this by 12. Now, when you solve this, you get 2a by 12 is equal to 3b by 12 and 4c by 12. We are dividing it by a multiple. You have taken the LCM and you will divide it. So now when we simplify this, a is 6 is equal to b by 4 is equal to c by 3. Right. So we know that a 6 b 4 c 3. Now we also have a shortcut method to it. What is that? <clears throat> 2a is equal to 3b is equal to 4c. You have to keep your thumb or you have to hide this. You have to hide this. Now you are left with 3b and 4c. So you have to multiply it. Right. 3 into 4. It is 12. Now I will hide the second one. Now we are left with 2 and 4. So is equal to 8. Now we hide the third one. We are left with these two which is equal to 6. Right? And when we simplify it, it becomes 6, 4 and 3. So this is the ratio we get here. We also got it here. A is to B is to C is equal to 6 is to 4 is to 3. And with a very short method, we also got it here. Let's do the shortcut method once again. <clears throat> you have 5A is equal to, let's say, 3B and 2C. Okay. So, we will hide this first. So, we are left with this and this, B and C. So, 3 into 2 is 6. Now, we will hide this and we are left with A and C. So, 5 into 2 is 10. And then we will hide C. So, we are left with A and B. So, it is 15. So, we got the ratio a is to B is to C is equal to 6 is to 10 is to 15. Right. So, we have done it by the LCM method and by the shortcut method too. Okay. So, I hope every concept we have done till now is clear to you. And we will be taking the questions in the upcoming video. Till then, you can go to our app or website for detailed notes, more videos and topic-wise tests to understand this topic in depth. You can also unlock all the locked videos. 
documents and tests of CAT with additive infinity plan to ace your exam at less than rupees 80 per month. Thank you. See you in the next video.